everyone, so I don't want to make this intro too long, but as you can probably tell from the title of this video, this is my official room tour, and I have not done a room tour since I moved to Los Angeles, which was two years ago, which just seems absolutely crazy to me. I've moved apartments in that time, I've switched up my bedroom decor three different times, so I am just all over the place, and I came to the realization that my bedroom is never going to be what I define as perfect. Every time I think I'm ready to film a room tour video, I'm always like, oh, well I want to get a picture frame for here, or a plant for over here or a different curtain for here and I've just come to the realization that it's not going to be perfect for me so I was like you know what if I do add all of these things that I always say I'm gonna add and then I never end up actually adding them I was like if I do do that in three months or so I can do an updated room tour video but for now you're crazy so just go ahead and put up what you have in your room which is probably all you're ever going to have in your room because you're probably never going to actually get around like in the old apartment I remember I never filmed a room tour because I was waiting to like put one of those little like wall decal sten stencil things above my bed I never did it and then I just ended up moving and I changed my decor anyways like it's just crazy so I decided today that I would do a room tour for you guys and not care that maybe a picture frame that I want to get for a certain area of my room or something isn't here yet because I haven't ordered it or I haven't bought it or I don't even know if I want it. Before we get started I want to let you guys know I have an official closet tour video that I'm going to link in the bottom of this video so if you want to see like an extended tour it basically shows like every nook and cranny of what's in my closet. I filmed that a while ago I feel like it was probably like a year ago but my closet's still the same I might have a couple new pairs of like shoes or a new bag or something but it still is organized the same so I'm gonna skip that in this video just because that was its own 10 minute video so that would add 10 minutes to this video and you guys have already seen it so I'll link that in the bottom bar below and then same thing with my jewelry armoire I'll show it to you guys I'll do a little overview and stuff but I'm not gonna go ahead and um, go through every single drawer and stuff just because that was its own 10 minute video if that makes any sense. Last thing before we get started on the room tours, I wanted to let you know that these Skylark lip glosses sold out during pre-sale, but they are now officially back for sale on blush.com. We got a new shipment in, and I told you guys that I would let you know when we had more in stock, so thank you so much if you are supporting Skylark and if you love the glosses, and we have a lot more things coming out, so thank you from the bottom of our hearts for supporting that, and yeah, I told you guys I would let you know when they were back, and they're officially back, so now let's start the room tour. So here's the door to my bedroom and I'll give you guys a quick overview and then go through all the details. So in here you have my bathroom which will go in there last and then you have the door to my closet which a lot of you guys have seen. And then standing with your back against my bedroom door this is what you see when you walk in. So like I said just a quick 360 so you guys kind of have an idea of the layout and where everything is so that when I get a little bit closer you kind of know where you're at and stuff and Teddy's asleep on the bed. I will try not to make you guys too dizzy in this video. So that's pretty much the extent of just like when you're walking in my room what you see and then I guess I'll just go through starting here because it's the first thing you see when you walk in my room. This is a clothing rack that I got at Target and I just wanted to put all of my special event dresses on here because they were just like buried in the back of my closet and I thought that I had this whole wall of space so I just kind of wanted to do something funky and so I have like my Teen Choice Awards dress and just a lot of fun things on there and then on this side I pulled the little handle out and this is where I always put the purse that I'm carrying for that day and it's just one of those little things that I feel like everything has a spot so it helps me keep my room more organized because I know where everything is. So this is the Big Buddha handbag in red from littleblackbag.com and I actually have a bag open if any of you guys want to go on there and trade with me. Um, I'll put a link in the bottom bar and then I have all the dresses like I said and then on this side I have my Chanel maxi flap with silver hardware because she is just way too beautiful to hide her in a closet so I have her right there she's so cute and then down here is like Teddy's little area this is his dog bed which kind of resembles my bed I think he prefers my bed but he does sleep on here a lot and then I have one of the PB teen storage boxes and that has all of his toys in there and every single day he jumps in that box he pulls every single toy out and then I put them all back in there and then he jumps in he pulls them all back out again so I put them all in there just for this video but most of the time they're all over my floor and then here I have my dresser and I actually got this TV not too long ago and I am absolutely loving it. Just a couple little knickknacks around the top of my dresser I have one of these dancing monkeys 
You guys know I love monkeys. I have a ribbon for Sheridan. This is actually a fan that my friend brought me back from Thailand. And I have my rhinestone juicy tour Rubik's Cube and two monkeys that were given to me on the book tour. And then in this first dresser drawer right here, I have some unisex t-shirts, a pray for Shay one. This one was given to me um, from the director of prom, a movie that I had literally like one line in. It wasn't a big deal, but I haven't even worn it. So I'm like, that's so cool. And I think maybe one day I'll frame it, but whatever. Um, and then I have some shorts right here, just like lounge shorts. You can tell I'm in PJs right now and they're really long for me. And then in here, I have some sweatpants, some pajama pants, and some of the pants that are like kind of are capris that are cinched at the bottom, if that makes any sense. I actually have a load of pajama pants in the washer right now. I was gonna wait until they came out and then I was like, no, you can go ahead and film. So that's why that drawer is a little bit empty. And then in here, I have my pajamas that are like the matching granny pajama bottoms and pants, which I live in and I love. I have some nightgowns. I have some of these Victoria's Secret pink nightgowns. Then this is just like a little sleep tank top and short outfit. And then down here, I have some of my workout stuff or most of my workout stuff actually I have some capris over here I have pants I have workout shirts I have some sports bras back there and there's like cat hair all over this that's what happens when you live with um, a white cat and a dog hair just gets everywhere it's like every time I put something on I have to take one of those little rubby things and rub it off all right so then over here this lamp I got at Target and then back here this is a little bit it looks like a junk corner but I actually have some of my favorite things back here this is a bulletin board that I'm going to put over my desk I just haven't got to it yet which again I was gonna wait and put that up to film my room tour and then I was like no you are just gonna do it and then back here I have a bunch of different things that I use for filing a bunch of things and then this is really cool. You can actually hook your iPhone up on top of that and then it prints your pictures right out there. I have my tripod for when I'm filming and then here is my desk. So first things first, I have my Mac um, computer, my iMac. I have some coasters from Z Gallery. I have a leaves candle from Bath and Body Works burning which smells so good. Beneath the glitter, obviously, I have this little cup that I got at Office Depot with just some pins and marker, markers and things like that. And here I just have some um, magazines, construction paper, and a few just like little personal knickknacks. This is a Teen Choice Awards from this year ticket, just things like that. Um, and then this is a notebook that I got that I just think is really pretty. All right, and then this desk chair is from PB Teen, and in the drawer of my desk, I have an organizer that I got from Office Depot. I have some sticky notes. Uh, these aren't safety pens. What are these called? Not bobby pens. I can't remember. Paper clips, and then some thumbtacks. I have extra change. I don't know why, but I always throw my change in there. I just have basically the typical office-y Thing. Then I have my two chairs that I got from pbteen.com and I actually sit in these probably more than anywhere else in my room because after I make my bed in the morning, I obviously don't want to mess it up. So I just lounge in these chairs. I'll actually like face them towards each other and just like lay with my legs all the way across. This blanket my mama made. It's from shopglitzyglam.com and I love it. It goes with the theme of my room and it's super, super snuggly. So then I have these new curtains, which I don't think you guys have seen. I got these from pbteen. I liked them a little bit better than the patterned ones. I thought it was just a little too overwhelming. And then at the top I, top, I have that little, what is that called, a valence, a valence, I'm not sure, but my mom's friend made that. And then over here, I have my lamp from Z Gallery, my clock, no, lamp is from Room Service, clock is from Z Gallery. I have a little Cabo snow globe that I got given to me when I was in Cabo. Down here I have some books and I have another one of the PBT storage things with magazines in it. I love just lounging against this if I'm in bed and I just wanna like really get cozy and stuff, I'll throw that up on the bed. And then my bedding is from Jonathan Adler, this is Jonathan Adler, this is PB Teen. This my mom's friend made, the same one that made my headboard and the valance. This is PB Teen, this is Jonathan Adler. So I just kind of have PB Teen and Jonathan Adler kind of mixed together on um, my uh, bed.
bed, yeah. And then down here I have a PB Teen carpet. So there is Teddy Bear, he's asleep. And then over here I have Beneath the Glitter because I'm just really, really proud of it. So I like to put it right there. And then I have a Wish candle. I have some aromatherapy sleep spray, another one of the um, lamps from room service. And then I have my bedside table and I have more books down here. And then over here is my jewelry chest, which all of you guys have seen. I did an entire video going through my jewelry chest and it really is the exact same, organized the same. I have pretty much the same jewelry, so I won't waste our time going through there. Then right here, this thing's actually really cool. When it's closed, when you open it up, it lights up, but I don't have the batteries in it right now, but it just has slots for 10 of my favorite Solaris cell phone cases. I like to switch them out with my outfit, and I'm absolutely obsessed with these, so I will put a link in the bottom bar below. And then over here, I have all of my cords jumbled up in another one of the PB Teen baskets. I don't know why I just get obsessed with throwing all my cords together, and I know it's so bad for them, but I can't help it. It's just a way for me to try to keep all of them just off the floor and stuff like that. And then I'll actually go ahead and show you guys. Under the bed, I have three of the um, under bed storage baskets. As you can tell, I like everything to kind of match. So I have tank tops in this one, I have leggings in this one, and then I have bathing suits in that back one. It's just a really easy way to keep everything organized and it doesn't take up excess space because I already have my bed there. Um, all right, and then here is my vanity. So over here I have a pulp fashion book with all of my perfumes on top and I should have a Balenciaga perfume right here but I took it on the book tour and I think I must have left it at one of the hotels because I can't find it and I'm so sad. And then over here I have the same little desk pen holder that I have on my desk. I just have some makeup brushes in it and then I have the same one but it's this little like cube. I think it's supposed to hold post-it notes but I just put uh, q-tips, a nail file, there should be tweezers and then um, some scissors. I have a lucky penny. Yes, I just keep it randomly but if you ask me I always know where it is but it doesn't have like a certain spot and then I have one of my Lily Pulitzer notepads then okay so I just got this off of eBay this is one of the Kardashian cube makeup holders or makeup storage things I don't know and I was going to completely wait until all my makeup was organized to do the room tour and again I was like no just do it so I'm going to completely organize my makeup and then I will be doing a uh, up updated makeup collection for you guys. Half of it's still down in the beauty closet. Some of it is just all around my apartment. And then this is my travel makeup bag. Again, my mom made it. It's from shopglitzyglam.com. And I will put a link in the bottom bar. This has all of my everyday makeup in it, just while I'm in the midst of moving everything from downstairs, from the beauty closet up to my room and everything. It's just my way of having like what I wear typically on a day-to-day -day basis right there. And then I have another one of the, um, oh, I haven't showed you guys the bathroom yet. So I guess I have the first of the PB Teen vanity mirrors, which I love this little baby. All right, so now let's make our way over to my bathroom. I have the PB Teen mirror that I love right there. And I have a little You Are Beautiful sign on it. And then over here, I have Teddy's food and water. I have a dirty clothes hamper towels and then in my shower I have normal shower stuff a while ago I did a what's in my shower video uh, but I think some of the things are the same some of them are different but there's nothing really special about that and then over here this picture painting thing I got at Z Gallery you can tell I love Z Gallery Jonathan Adler PB Teen and room service so room service is just like this little boutique -y place that is um, in Los Angeles I have some Lush bath products, and then down here I have Teddy's dog food and some treats in there. This is my lingerie chest, and I'm not gonna go through all of here, but they're all pretty much the same. I just have, you know, lingerie stuff in there. I have another leaves candle burning, and then uh, the toilet, obviously. You have that in a bathroom. Over here, all right, so Here's my beauty cabinet, and again, I've done a what's in my beauty cabinet video, but um, I think a couple things have changed since then. So that's kind of what I have. I have basically my everyday like skincare and like toothpaste and um, like contact stuff and 
deodorant, things like that. And then I have my Claire Sonic. I have over here Q-tips and cotton balls. Again, all of this bathroom stuff is from PBT and obviously I'm obsessed. Soap dispenser, a hand towel and a washcloth. And then I have this little Kleenex box cover. And then this is the second one of my makeup mirror. So I love these things. They are absolutely amazing. They light up and then they also are really great. Um, it spins around and it's magnifying and stuff like that. So now I guess, oh, sorry, I just slammed the shower door. So now I'll show you guys what I have, I guess, under my sink. In this cabinet over here, it looks like a jumbled array of stuff, but I promise there is a rhyme and reason to everything. So down here I have my curling irons and straighteners and blow dryers. I have um, curlers. Back there I have some more travel bags. I have extras of pretty much everything because I'm crazy. Like I have extra toothpastes and um, like shaving cream and I have, I even have like a little neti pot back there. I've never actually used one, but when I had a sinus infection, the doctor gave it to me and was like, if you're brave enough, you should use this. And I was like, I'm not. So I still just have that back there, but maybe one day if I need it again, I have just like extra stuff down here. Another one of the makeup removers I like to use. And then up here in this top drawer, I have actually, this is a desk organizer. First things I have are just my um, my hair ties, some clear elastics, even the kind that like loop around and you pin them in your hair, or connect them or whatever that's called. And then in here I have my curler clips as well as a bunch of bobby pins. Then back here I have a bunch of different size clips. Then I have my big clips for when I'm drying my hair, curling my hair, and I have my um, little uh, what's this called? Oh, headband. I use this whenever I'm like washing my face at night to make sure my hair doesn't get all wet and gross and stuff. And again, my mom made this. It's from shopglitzyglam.com. Not trying to self-promote or anything, but I feel like it sounds like that, so I'll just stop saying that. Um, all right, and then down here on this side, I have product, and this is just basically, this sounds so crazy, but this is like my most used hair products and I guess like stuff, I don't know. So over here, I have hairsprays and hair mousse and hair treatments and things. And then down the middle, I have more just like body lotions. And then on this side, I have self tanner. And then in the very back, I have like extra contacts and I have a uh, nail file kit and nail remover and thing or nail polish remover, things like that. So I have a lot more products down in the beauty closet and I just think I'm gonna move them all up to my room because I don't use them when I'm down there. like. They're very organized down there, but I just don't use it. So I think I'm gonna move them all up here. I'm thinking actually, sorry, I know this video is really long, but I wanna get your guys' opinion. I'm actually thinking of doing either a big bookshelf in this area or maybe one on either side of my dresser to put like products on and stuff and just decorate it and make it cute. Um, I know that Ikea has some cute white ones or Target, so let me know. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of long, but room tours always are and I will talk to you guys a little later film a room tour of your room I would love to see it and leave it as a video response bye